Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, I know. It's been about two weeks. I have a makeup fall, makeup fall. It's been a long time. I have a makeup haul for you guys and I'm excited. I've been wanting to share these things with you guys. These are things that I've been buying over the time that I've been gone. And a little bit before I have some things that are a little bit old. Um, that they're literally still sitting in the box so now i've become that person that i hoard the boxes and the things that i buy until i do a haul for you guys which i need to get better at but that's okay uh i have a little bit of everything color pop um tj maxx walmart target ulta sephora a few things that were sent to me so let's get started because I think I haven't filmed since I shared with you guys on Instagram that I got a new desk and like a whole new, not whole new setup, but I got a new desk, a new chair, finally got rid of that annoying black squeaky chair, which was an outside chair. But yeah, <laughs> honestly, there's really no real reason for me not filming, it's just life, just trying to finish up the Christmas tree you guys know that's a whole ordeal if you follow me on my vlog channel every year it's a whole ordeal this year we did the Grinch uh, theme I know I, I told you guys I wasn't going to buy any more makeup but but yeah you know I have no excuses <laughs> I'm gonna start off with TJ Maxx because it's just two things so I found these brushes there and they were only $3.99 and I actually had been seeing this brand around like the TJ Maxx finds, Marshalls finds and this is a brand Pract. I don't even know if that's how you say it but it's by Sigma Beauty. So from what I understood people explaining this is kind of like the you know like the sister brand to Sigma Beauty but more affordable. So I personally think I own like two Sigma brushes. Their Kabuki is like one of my favorites. I've had it for years, like 10 years, and it's still as good as back when I got it. Um, so I was excited to find these. I got both of the ones they had because they are the large blending brushes, and I can never have too many blending or enough blending brushes. I just, I love buying brushes and makeup and palettes and everything. <laughs> everything in between. Then, this is the most recent purchase from Target. I actually bought two brow products. So I got the Micro Ink Pen by Brow Stylist by L'Oreal. Because, if you guys see the little picture right there, it resembles the one I love from Benefit that gives you those little, like, fake hair brush strokes little fake hairs that's actually what i did my brows today with i know they look a, lo a lot lighter but i have more more hair which i'm so proud of and i was excited i got the shade of brunette i wish they would have had a dark color but honestly the dark one brown that i have in benefit it suits me well so i'm excited to try this one is just a little bit different it's more like angled if it'll focus there we go you guys see it's like more at an angle but I'm still excited to test it out and if it like works good and does the same it'll be a good dupe to that one which this one is a little more affordable than the benefit one and then my cousin actually put me on this one she had the NYX uh brow pencil precision brow pencil it's like the one that's pointy at the end and I really really like how it worked I tried it out and I loved it so I picked it up for myself and I got the color espresso it's just nice dark brown shade and I really liked it so I will try it in my shade I also picked up a concealer now I know this is really deep and it's not you know obviously it's too deep for me but I bought the elf 16 hour camo concealer in rich cocoa because I have been using this for contour I bought it to do my cousin's makeup and to do her contour and I loved it that's what I used on my nose today and I feel like my nose looks so snatched today i love it i only apply like a very minimal amount because it is deeper i use it for my contour today i'm just loving cream contour right now and i'm barely learning how to do it so i guess that's why i'm so in love with it but i bought this color probably need a lighter shade for me um but that has worked amazingly 
from Walmart, I picked up these Kiss Press-On Nails. Now, I love acrylic nails, but all the shops are closed. I also don't want to risk it and go out and get my nails done. I did like once everything started opening up again, but I only went once. And if you guys, if, if you guys have been here on the channel, you probably know that I don't like getting fills. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies to get fills. I just rather take my nails off and get a new set that's just how I am <laughs> but I found these kiss press on nails and I'm also not a fan of putting press on nails and losing one every second but I've seen on TikTok where you see everything now and TikTok makes me buy everything that a lot of people are loving these kiss nails because they say that this kiss glue which I also bought <laughs> is the best glue there is for the press on nails that it lasts at least two weeks without like losing them at all times so i'm excited to test that out because i also found these extra long nails like this is my style of nail that i like i love long nails for me if it's going to be short nails i rather just have my own natural nails like even just natural like that um because i just don't like short nails i love long ones so if you're interested in these they are the xl ones because i know there's like the long ones these are extra large not extra large extra long and this style is new it's really cute i really actually like the crystals because i've never done it on acrylic nails i just feel like it'll get caught in my hair and i always end up getting nude nails but I will definitely be trying these out. I feel like it looks so much cuter when you're holding up a product and you have nice nails. So that's what I got those for, honestly, for video purposes. <laughs> um, because really, where am I going in this quarantine? Then from Walmart as well, this I think I actually ordered it online. It's the Milani Times Orpha Mono Monochromatic Realness Set. I love her. I've bought like every collab she has come out with artist couture she did another one like her favorite stuff i have purchased it oh, with morphe because i love her style her aesthetic like how she does her makeup is bomb so i said to support and pick up this set that she uh like kind of curated with milani it's a eyeshadow palette eyeshadow palette <laughs> lip liner and lip gloss i actually haven't tried this gloss this i haven't tried the lip liners from milani so i'm very excited for this and this is very like monochromatic like i always love anything monochromatic especially makeup and the colors oh, so beautiful yeah then we have from ulta two things i picked up the essence uh lash princess mascara set the reason being is TikTok. TikTok is going to be <laughs> my downfall. Um, I have seen a lot of people talk about this mascara, the Lash Princess, different the different colors from Essence, and I was like, okay, let me get this set. It retails for fourteen ninety nine. I think it was on sale for like eleven dollars, but I thought it was going to be like a mini set. I was like, let me try it, you know, a mini set. When I saw it, I was like, holy cow, it's <laughs> the whole the whole shebang full size four of the mascaras um from that collection the lash princess i've only opened this one right here because obviously i don't want to open all of them at the same time i'm almost done with my pat pat mcgrath mascara which i really like but i don't think i'll repurchase it since i already purchased this because i'm excited to test these out so so far i've been loving that one i will leave the other ones like that until i'm ready to fully use them and then during their 21 day sales of, I don't know what, Ulta was having a sale, um, they had the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses for $9. And the clear one is one of my absolute favorites. I love it. So I wanted to pick up another color, but one that has a little more color. That I have the clear one. It's literally just a clear gloss. And this one actually has a little color in it, which I love. And this is a color Naked Cherry, and I actually topped it on my lips today. It's beautiful. It's literally the creamiest, like, cool tone nude, but it's, like, the perfect nude gloss. I am so happy I got this color. And they smell delicious, and that noise was <laughs> a little extra. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on to Sephora, I actually picked up a few things we made big Sephora orders, but they were for gifts, and I included a few little things for me. And I also picked up, like, the 100 points 
perks and stuff. I got the Green Clean from Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which I'm excited for. Ever since I uh, stopped using so many makeup wipes, I feel like my skin has improved so, so much. And that was like the major, major change I've done to my skin. I do use them here and there just to go through what I have. And also whatever I have left, I'm using it just to remove makeup swatches, even though I didn't get any makeup wipes right now. Um, I also got the face cleanser from First Aid Beauty. It has fab antioxidant boosters, removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. Excited to try that out. And this is like a big, big, like sample size compared to this one. This is a Peter Thomas, Thomas. I always say like that. Peter, is that how you say it? Peter Thomas? Thomas. Peter Thomas Roth. Um, water, water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. <sighs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> so I got that as well for 100 points. And now to what I actually purchased was the first thing, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. I was excited for this. So this is, obviously, if you guys have seen, this was new. Back when it came out is when I purchased it. Um, and I'm, I have been loving it. So to me, it's kind of like a setting spray with the Hydro Grip Primer in it. So it looks a little thick at times. Um, but for reference, this is the, the like small size that they sell in that of buying the full size, which this one I think was like $16, maybe 18 or 15, somewhere around there. It's like the smaller size. And this is a small hydro grip primer. This is literally like a sample size primer for $15 that I bought. Like a, I mean, I like it. It's a good gripping primer. I do have others that are amazing dupes, but I just feel like, and I know this is a setting spray, but still like this is so tiny and like travel, not even travel size, sample size little product for 15 bucks. But I like this one as well. This one I will definitely repurchase it. And this one low key, I do want to buy the full size because I did really like it. Although, like I said, I have other really good dupes. It's still one on my list to repurchase. Um, Fenty Beauty. Mm -mm -mm. You guys know their glosses are my absolute jam. I love them. They came out with the cream collection for their glosses. I got the color Fenty Glow because I could not pa pass these up. The amount of swatches I've seen, the, the video, like the little reel Rihanna did, like I just, I want, wanted this color. It's so pretty. It's more of an orangey. I know it's pulling off a little more pinky peach, but it's more like a true brown orange and it looks beautiful on the lips. I was going to wear it today, but I topped the other gloss, the nude gloss. So I still... Still loving gloss, loving liquid lipsticks, loving it all. And that's basically like the randomness of randomness. Let's move on to ColourPop. All right, guys, we're moving on to ColourPop. And for ColourPop, I have, um, let's say, three orders. So I have two boxes, and then these other things are orders that I placed for gifts. I did like the big volts from ColourPop that they had on sale for, I think it was Black Friday. I decided I wanted to do like little beauty boxes for the girls that we're getting gifts for. And I got a few of those gift sets. And in those gift sets, there was a couple palettes that I wanted. So the first kit like bolt that I actually bought for myself was the little box of pencils. And this is their lippy pencils, which is basically lip liners. And I was so excited for this one because I um, I think I've tried like two ColourPop lip liners from the Becky G collection, the Hola Chola, and I really like the lip liners. So I was like, you know what? I definitely need more lip liners. That's something I don't have very many of. So this was just perfect. It ranges from nudes, reds, mauvies to like the deep colors that I love to wear, especially fall, winter, you know, the vampy lips, even though <laughs> lip gloss is all I wear lately. I really want this. It was um, a really good deal. So I picked that up. Now, one of the volts that I got was, it wasn't a volt. It was kind of like a double thing. It had the new poppy, big poppy palette with the... Sunflower palette came like in a set and I already have the sunflower, but that one was for someone else 
And this was for me because it's a palette that I really wanted. If you guys know me, these are my kind of colors. Literally all me right here. So I was so excited for this one. Oh my gosh, there you guys can see the true, true colors. They look so good. So ugh, these are my type of colors. I love matte warm shades. It's just what I use on the regular basis. I could probably pair this palette with any liquid eyeshadow that I like. And am I even focused? My camera's playing games today. It wants to play me today. So this was a perfect palette and I was so excited. Next, from one of the volts. So this palette came messed up. The Going Coconuts palette came messed up. It has like a scratch in the front. And honestly, I just didn't want to give it like that because it just doesn't look cute in my opinion and like when you close it it's kind of gets stuck like you have to close it hard and then it gets stuck to open it but whatever I decided to end up you know keeping it which I don't have this one if you guys see back on this no wow my direction sucks right here those are all ColourPop monochromatic palettes I clearly don't have this one and it's one that I actually don't mind having because I have used it already and it's such a perfect like everyday palette easy to grab put something in the crease on the lid and you're good to go it's just perfect to me it's not too warm and it's not too cool it's like neutral and small compact, 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 compact. Um, it's just perfect so this is added to my ColourPop monochromatic collection as well as these two which I was going to say it's their newest ones but they actually have a newer one and you'd be surprised me loving wine and the wine shades and burgundy shades that I haven't bought it but it's definitely on my list. I'm, I kind of wait for uh, ColourPop to have you know a good roundup of new products and things that I want so they I place like just one order. I always do that. Um, but this was in one of the folds that I wanted to split up and these two I actually wanted to keep for me. I had already, you know, said that before I got the volts. So the, I got the on, on Cloud Blue. This is definitely one of their newer ones. Oh my gosh, I love it. The background reminds me of The Simpsons, like when it starts the show. So cute. I don't have a blue palette. Well, actually, I just got one in BoxyCharm, but... I'm glad I got this one. I really wanted it. These are just my favorite kinds of palettes. And then Cloud Spun, which it's the pinkier one. I am so sorry. I don't know what is going on with my camera today. It's just like trying to play me. So it's the pinky one. And again, I don't have the pink one from like the first monochromatic palettes that came. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And I love that this one has a pressed glitter because I love their pressed glitters. So excited to use these. Um, these would be perfect like for spring. My camera really said not today. Yeah get it together okay so let's move on to the next order now this one I've had it for a while they even did like a restock already and I don't know if the restock is sold out but I still want to do a video with this so this is the box and I wanted this collection so bad so Raw Beauty Christy times ColourPop I love her I've watched her channel for a while now uh, you know I'm so happy that she has come around to Color Mom to get a collection if you know you know um, but yeah I couldn't get her Pure Times Raw Beauty Christy collection so I was like when I saw this I was like I want it all like everything from the collection I want it not just because it's so cute and everything in the collection I love but because I wanted to support her this time you know because I couldn't get that palette and I tried like over and over again and every time it sold out then when I went to Ulta I just didn't end up getting it I saw that this came out I was like this is it so this is a at Forest Sight palette and her collection is just so cute like the attention to detail and the packaging you know it's very her 
I can definitely say that, you know, this seems like it's very her. I would definitely still be doing a video. Um, I don't know if you guys would like to see it. I know if the collection's not available, it's kind of annoying when people do that. But, I mean, sometimes it's so hard to keep up with all the collections and doing the reviews and the tutorials, you know, as soon as I can possibly get it because I wait like everyone else to order this stuff, then wait to get it and ship, and, you know, and through the mail. And by that time, all the influencers already did the videos and it becomes old news. So it's kind of annoying. I'm totally going to try and not have that pressure for 2021 when I'm doing videos and tutorials because I love to do tutorials for you guys. Sometimes it's just so much that pressure that like, oh, that's old news already. No one's going to care about your video if, you know, you do that. And it's hard sometimes, honestly. Then part of the collection, they had three cream gel liners, which this is the only thing that I haven't tried from ColourPop, like from this collection. And they have three shades it's like a yellow green and a brown but i'll definitely show swatches and all that in the video um they also have two lux glass gloss <laughs> my body's like not today girl <laughs> not just the camera um lux glosses and i actually really like this they're so pretty they're so glossy these are a little bit thicker and stickier than other glosses but not like like sticky that you can't like handle it at least for me and there's two colors we have glacier and wildflower so i'm so excited that they did that i would have liked uh liquid lipsticks because i personally do like the color pop liquid lipsticks i know not a lot of people are a fan of them i personally am but i'm so happy that they did the luxe glosses um for this collection and then they did super shock shadows this was probably the second thing first or second thing I tried from ColourPop, Super Shock Shadows and their matte liquid lipsticks. I bought like 11 and they had, I bought like the wildest colors that I never wore, but back when ColourPop came out, it was like so new and interesting, especially the liquid lipsticks. It was like the hot stuff. So I got the, um, this as well. I got the whole set. So it came as a whole. I'm just showing everything that came in the collection so you could have bought that individually or you know all together now part of this order like I tell you guys I like to bulk the orders <laughs> on things that I've been wanting from Colourpop this is something that I have been wanting the soul body collection it's the face and bronzing balm now I got it in the medium shade which had been sold out for a while and when this collection was live this was available I was like let me grab it so I must say that on the pictures it looks a bit cooler than what it does in the pic in person like it looks a little more hmm, let me see yeah it looks a lot more orangey actually and in pictures I waited for the medium one because it looked oh I mean I guess once I blend it out I'll have to try it on my skin because it does look a little too orangey for me but I definitely it's a product that I've been wanting to try out and then now I guess I have to just like throw my justification out there for this palette because I don't need another palette but I really wanted this so this is the I Love Sad Eight Times Colourpop Through My Eyes collaboration palette that came out <laughs> a while ago I always wanted this palette you know once I saw it and it was sold out I was so bummed that I you know, I didn't pick it up and I never, you know, looked for it again. But recently, since I had been so much on ColourPop, getting the Hocus Pocus, getting like all these collections, I was seeing the collabs, even the Kathleen Lights collabs. Um, I picked those up. This is one that I've always wanted. Like, so the reason I've been wanting it is because um, I love Sarai. I really, really like her style, her videos, her tutorials. Like she is just really, really cool. And I wanted to pick up her palette. I did pick up from one of the other collabs, the Liquid Dipstick Arriba and uh, Mamacita. And I think I have one of the palettes from another collaboration. Uh, with ColourPop but this one was like this one was really it for me especially this color like the packaging the name of the eyeshadows and the eyeshadows themselves like look at those colors please tell me that it's not me in a palette and all the colors I love using like I need to do a look with this already this is a palette that I didn't want to be like gone from color ColourPop because after a while the collaborations with people they do they're like okay they're gone forever it's it's kind of like their contracts up and they won't have the products anymore so when I saw that this was in stock I was like I have to get it now and I think it was on sale too so I was like score 
Now the last order is this one right here. It's a smaller one. This one is just actually the collection that came out that I wanted. So they had a collab with Hello Kitty uh, ColourPop. I actually really like the packaging. And I, I mean, I just love ColourPop. Seriously, like, can you guys not tell? Um, so I'm going to say that these colors in person are much prettier. The palette looks more vibrant there you go so you can see the true color do you guys see that color in the center like the way the glitter shifts so these two these two right here i think even this one are matte eyeshadows yeah with that glitter but it looks like such fine glitter that it just looks so pretty and perfect oh my gosh look at that they look beautiful and then i also got the Big Surprise Luxe Gloss Trio. This one was super cute as well. They have uh, Icicle Pop, So Chilly, and Big Bow, and it's three different. This one's like um, a magenta pink. This one is more of a like a frosted, just like a clear with glitter. And then this one's more like a peachy gloss. And the packaging is everything, the detail in the packaging is just so, so cute. And then one of the blushes. I got the color Bundled Up. I think it's the new setup I have with my desk. I'm so close to the camera now and the lights that, there we go. It still looks nice and you can you can still see like very clear when it focuses, but it definitely is that I'm so close to the camera now, which I personally like because I know a lot of you guys say that when I the camera is further, I like show the stuff up and you guys still can't see it. So I wanted to get closer especially with this desk now. I just need to cover all the other <laughs> attention in the back. There we go, look at the blush, so cute. And the color for this one, I'm definitely going to say, it looked much lighter, more mauve-y, and in person it's a bit deeper, but it kind of feel like it's a perfect like winter blush, so I actually am okay with it. I, so I, I wanna start off with Influencer. So, the first product that I got is from Tom Ford. And honestly, I can tell you guys that this is my first Tom Ford product. And this is a Ultra Shine Lip Color. I have never even like thought of buying anything Tom Ford. So this was pretty cool to be able to try this out. It's a lipstick, uh, a bullet lipstick. It's a really moisturizing uh, lipstick, which... I mean, also look at this packaging. Like I was like, okay, this is like display worthy. It's white and gold. The top is gold. It has a TF for Tom Ford. And then here's a color. It's not really a lot of my style, the color, but once you swatch it, it looks kind of like if you put it on your lips, your lips are gonna look like you applied a lip balm and your lips kinda got like a little sheen on them. So I kinda like that because it feels really moisturizing. It doesn't have no, it doesn't have a scent, um, but I would definitely sheer this out and it still looks kind of like a wash of color. I don't mind this, especially throughout the day. Um, so I definitely will try this out because it is a pretty color. Now the next package, this one, they uh, sent a few more products and it's different products. So we have this Mizani, I don't know this brand, 25 Miracle milk and it has 25 benefits leave-in uh it's like a leave-in conditioner i think uh it has nourishing blend of fennel seed oil sustainably sourced coconut oil so i'm definitely excited to try this on my hair it's a leave-in conditioner and right now i don't know if the conditioner i'm using is making my hair really flat and straight but i am not liking it i naturally have like a really nice wave especially after the shower and look at this like it's just flat and straight. I think it's that new keratin conditioner I got. I need to buy a different one because I am not liking that. So the other products are from Kevin Aquan. And these are also my first Kevin Aquan products. So I got two. And it all differ, differentiates on what you qualify for. Some people have gotten Pat McGrath products. I actually have gotten them myself, but I mean, they've gotten the expensive palettes. So this is the Volume Mascara. And this is the first time that I own a mascara that's like so tiny or that I've had one this tiny in a long time. It's just so skinny and like slim. <laughs> but I actually have really liked this, especially on my lower lashes because the wand is so thin 
and nice it's just like perfect for lower lashes it is good on my upper lashes it does give me a lot of length not too much volume like i would like but the length is definitely there so i have been liking this and then this the, the moment i saw this i was like i have to use it immediately so this is a contour book the art of sculpting and defining volume three and look at this palette i had never seen this palette like before and they're on volume three but again i really don't know kevin aquan products so i wanted to test this out i love these contours because they're cool tone and it's what i use today to set like my cream contour and i feel like it's just so beautiful and perfect this one the bottom one is definitely a little more warm tone but these are absolute perfection and i love that they're cool tone but they're not too like muddy and dirty or like gray on the skin this like ombre blush thing i'm wearing it today i love it the only thing i didn't wear is highlighter because i had picked up a different one already but the highlighters are as beautiful i have wore these already i'm just not wearing them today they give a really nice sheen so i really like that and I was so excited to have received those. So I will keep using them. Definitely give my review and stuff. Next we have from Pop Beauty. And they sent over some goodies, which I was super excited. They have the Makeup Magnet Mist. They already sent this and I actually have used it already. I really, really like it. So I'm happy to have another one. Uh, then we have the Plump Pout Volume Gloss. I haven't tried this, but I do love plump looking lips. So then they sent over a flash shadow, which is a liquid eyeshadow. Ooh, I love the pixie one. So this one might be as good. So if you guys don't know, this is the sister sister brand to pixie beauty oh yes i'm ex oh this color oh i don't have a color like this yes i'm excited for this let me see oh my gosh it's like a like a rose gold but with a hint of red liquid eyeshadow it looks more pinky rose gold kind of bronze wow i just the whole, the whole rainbow <laughs> Um, and they also sent a palette, which their palettes are so cute and I really like them. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I love these. This is a Fire Fit. Oh, I can't wait. Look at that press glitter right here. This one literally looks like fire. And lastly, we have a little package from Ella Mila. I'm excited for this. They have previously sent me products like this and I tried them out and I really, really like them. So there's a little um, soy polish remover wipes. I've never had a polish remover wipe, so I would definitely be using that. And then we have two lip products, uh, just cheeky glossy liquid lipstick in the color. What's the color? I think it's just cheeky. Yeah. So that's the gloss and then a velvet matte liquid lipstick in the color feisty which looks beautiful like a really pretty nude and a really pretty hot pink so those are those those are those <laughs> and then ultra goddess eyeshadow blush and highlighter palette i actually really ended up liking these palettes the first time they send them around this is a different color which i'm excited for but i like that it has six eyeshadows you can do a full look with and then they have a blush and a highlighter and the blush and the highlighter are probably one of my favorites from the palette look at that oh, look at that highlighter oh my gosh yes thank you very much the brands that take the time to give me the opportunity to try out their products and to send over their products to me i'm very grateful and these products look amazing i am excited to put them all over the space but yeah that's basically it for this haul i know it was a long one definitely miss you guys i missed talking to the camera talking to you guys and yeah i'm excited to have hauls not hauls tutorials uh using these products i think i will most likely be doing like trying new makeup because that's the best way that i can try more products in one video than if i split them all i will never finish <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching thank you for all the support i really appreciate you guys and i will see you all in my next video bye